everyone uh, welcome back in this video we'll be talking about app service environment so let's go ahead and start so for this i have created a separate resource group which is app service so click that so to create a resource group you can just click create and add the resource group and you can just add the resource group name that you want in this case i have chose app, uh, app resource so if i go back so this is the resource i have selected so let's click that and I've already created uh, the app service environment, but still it's not uh, fully established. But let me show you how this is done. So for that, you have to click create and search for uh, app service environment. So click that. So you can see if I remove version three, there is also version two here. So you can see there's two different uh, versions. One is version two and version three. So coming to if you talk about app service environment, which is also known as AC, is a uh, in Azure is dedicated and isolated environment for hosting and running web applications. So it provides a highly secure and scalable platform for running uh, mission critical web applications that require high availability and performance. So that is the reason why we use uh, app service. So there is few difference between these two. So I'll be sharing you the document uh, in the description. So let me show you that. So you can see there is few difference between uh, version one and version two and version three. Coming to version one, it manages uh, management of front end scaling requirement, whereas this one, it front is automatically scaled uh, based on demand. So there are a few other differences. So I'll be sharing you the document so that you can uh, you know know more about what exactly uh, it is and how exactly it works. So meanwhile, let's go ahead and create uh, the resource. In this case, uh, we'll be choosing uh, version three. So click that and uh, here you can read uh, like what exactly it is uh, we all which we have already discussed so deployment of azure app service into your own uh, azure virtual network so for this you have to create a virtual network in which your app service will be running so this enables uh, your apps to have a direct access to corporate resources over site to site private endpoints and express route connections so the app uh, in ASC are available on uh, private addresses in your uh, Azure virtual network with no additional configurations required. So let's go ahead and uh, create one. So subscription one and the resource group that we have created, which is uh, app service. So make sure that you select that resource so, th uh, so that it will be easier for us to delete, uh, you know, all the resources uh, when the lab is completed. So coming to the name, uh, usually I'll go ahead with my name like MRT app service just to be, you know, unique. Uh, if I, you know, instead of uh, starting something, I just write, let's say my app service environment. So using such names, you can see it is, uh, there will be, uh, it will be not available. So usually I use my name here. Uh, so just to be unique. So once this is done, uh, the, coming to the virtual IPs, there are two different virtual IPs. So internal as well as external. So coming to the internal, is uh, the internal IP is used for the communications between the resources or within the ASC, which is app service environment, such as front end load balancer or the web apps and the backend databases. So it is not exposed to the public internet and is used for uh, internal routing and load balancing within this uh, app service environment. On the other hand, if we talk about the external, the external uh, is a public facing IP address that is used to access the web apps hosted within the ASC from the internet. So these IP uh, addresses is used by the front end load balancer to route incoming uh, request to the appropriate web uh, app instance within the ASC. So in this case, we'll be using internal just to be more secure. So let's go to the next one, which is uh, hosting. So here coming to the hosting, we have uh, physical uh, hardware isolation. So in which we have, uh, we have to enable or disable. So enabling this uh, hardware isolation means that each web app instance gets its own dedicated VM uh, and the resources while disabling this hardware isolation means that multiple web app instances can share the same underlying resources. So that is what uh, the difference between these two is enabling and disable. So in this case, we will be just disable it since we just wanted to share the resources. So coming to the zone redundancy, enabling this zone redundancy means that the web app instance are deployed across multiple AZs, which is availability zones and provides higher availability and resilience. 
so while disabling the zone redundancy means that the web app uh, instance are deployed within the single az providing lower uh, resiliency but uh, potentially lower cost as well so you can see when you enable it uh, the app service instance counts will be three so similarly you will be charged on the other hand if you uh, disable it you see the count will be only one which is a minimal cost seeing that you can go to the networking so in this case uh, since i've already created one network it's taking that but you have if you have not created any network make sure that you create one so you have to just click create and add the network name and just click ok so once your virtual network is done you have to create a subnet as well so create new and you can add the subnet name and that will be done so once you create these two uh, everything will be done automatically and you can just go to the next section which is tags so in this case i'll be just uh, leaving its default which is uh, azure uh, dns private zone if you want to add manually you can add it but in this case i'll just leave it uh, default and coming to inbound ip addresses as well so if you want to have some specific ip you can just manually and enter that ip so based on uh, the virtual network that you have selected so based on that you have to use one of the ip inside that uh, network so in this case i'll just select uh, automatic uh, and let's go to the next tags and in the end review and create however we'll be getting errors since we have a uh, few errors before so this is the process uh, how i have created it so once you create it uh let's go back here and let's go to the app service and just refresh it so this is our app service that uh, we have created before which is mrt app service so that is the reason we are getting error when we have used mrt app service and why so coming to uh, ip addresses it's still uh, not able to show you uh, i think it's still running apps and my operations is in progress so it's still in the process so that's the reason we are not able to uh, see these inbound as well as outbound addresses so it will be since we have selected automatic there will be a ip address assigned here uh, internal ip address which is starting from uh, like address c 192 point something and from outbound as well like there will be few addresses which are assigned to this outbound so this is what uh, we have uh, you know uh, created now let's uh, so for example we have created our environment and let's say you want to add some web apps inside this environment you can do that so how can we add those uh, you know resources inside this particular environment so this is nothing but a dedicated uh, app service environment so isolate which is isolated so let's go back here and uh, okay let's try to create one app service so if i go to app services and let's say uh let's create one so here in the instance details let's uh it's taking time to load so coming to the region uh if you click here you can see there is a separate uh app service environment version 3 so you can just select this one and uh you can create your web app so this is how you can uh, use your uh, app service environment so and there are a few advantages of uh, using this so in the document you can see uh, one of the advantage is uh, application service environment version 3 enables merging companies to share information in the secure environment so instead of going through public uh, network it can you know directly share other uh, two companies can work in this uh, isolated environment and share the information so i'll be sharing uh, this document uh, for your reference so coming to this video i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone